the right screen. I'll turn it on. Oh, we're live.
What's going on? Steve Kaplan here, and I am going to show you a bonus module of the AI content waterfall. Thank you for tuning into this broadcast if you're watching live. I appreciate it. I appreciate having an audience. And uh, if you're watching this after the fact, then uh, that will probably be edited out. So welcome. Last time, if you haven't watched the AI content waterfall, part one and part two, you're going to want to watch those. Um, we Part two is being edited right now, so it's a little bit long, but you can watch the full version if you'd like. And uh, and part one, part one is edited and has the highlights, so I suggest you watch that. Um, if you're watching this, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe and share. And if you're watching it anywhere else, go ahead and share it. Even if it's a live broadcast, share with everyone. This is going to be um, really straightforward and straight to the point, simple. Uh, let's go. So we're only going to use two tools today, and I'm going to show you uh, how to post all the content that we created in version one and version two of the AI content waterfall. Um, so we're going to use Postly. Um, this is very affordable. There's a thousand other tools that can that has similar functions to Postly. I'm by no means uh, promoting them. I'm not even using my affiliate link uh, in the link for this uh, in the resources link. So I'm just going to show you exactly how to set this up and then how to distribute your content and how easy it is. So um, I'm when you sign up for Postly, it'll take you to this start create a new workspace. So I'm going to call this the AI content waterfall and there's nothing in here right now if you want to set up an approval queue if there's other people on your team that you want to look at the content before it gets approved you can do that but um, i don't need an approval to post this so that's how i'm going to set this up for now and all the options you can change in there and um, just to just to uh reiterate my stance on ai and and what i think about ai if you are you not using AI, someone who's using it will probably take your job. If you are using AI and you're using it irresponsibly, you're going to make a mess. No one's going to like your content and it's not going to produce results. So same thing in life. Um, if you use your brain to come up with good ideas and then you bring those ideas out, you might get good results. If you follow a framework, if you, I'm kind of winging it this time, um, but there are frameworks that you can follow and the AI content waterfall is a framework for creating the content and distributing it. But I strongly suggest that you put some thought into this and, um, and that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through some prompting with you so we can, massage chat GPT a little bit to get an image to post on Postly. So this is what your Postly looks like. Uh, we're going to publish to a bunch of different platforms. But before we do that, we have to set up our platforms. So we have to connect our social accounts. Um, and you got all these options here. And uh, so let's just get started. Let's just get started. All right. And then I'm just going to connect my accounts and it asks you for permission. It asks you to log in and uh, da da da. All right. If you didn't know my email, you know it now. Uh, so we're logged in. LinkedIn's connected successfully. That's how easy it is. And you can connect a bunch of LinkedIn accounts if you want to. Um, and then we're going to just go through and connect the other account types and so you can you can connect Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Google My Business, YouTube, TikTok, Pinterest, Telegram, Reddit, um, 
I am going to move into a workspace that has these connected now. So let me hop over there and show you what that looks like. So once you connect those, you're going to create a post. Um, I'm hopping it into an, an already connected workspace for click and convert so that you can see what it looks like after all your accounts are connected. But to connect them, it's a couple of button clicks. Just make sure you're logged in and give permission to Postly or whatever you're using to post. And then we're going to post. So we clicked create a post. Um, and you can see that we can create from AI here. I just want to say this because there's a reason we used all these AI tools, which I have as my screensaver. So there's a reason we used all these AI tools and Postly isn't one of them. Um, there's good AI and then there's not so good AI. Um, if there are extensive requests for information um, or someone has put a ton of time and effort, for example, Tugan.ai is one of them that I went through. Tugan, the founder, have put a ton of effort into the back end of that so that there are multiple steps that happen before your, your post is produced. So, but in here, I'll just show you. If we're going to create from AI in here, this is just ask for the name of your product and a description, a tone, and then it generates copy. That's not enough information unless you really have your product and your market nailed down, um, which is part of the, the intelligence that's required to do this. But for now, let's create the post. And I would be creating the post from all the content that we created from Content Waterfall, but I just want to show you that we can do it. Um, we can do it from ChatGPT, and we'll just create an image real quick. So again, I'm doing this on the fly, but I'm going to use my brain. So my workspace that I just created is AI Content Waterfall. The, the content of this video and previous videos is the AI Content Waterfall. So uh, maybe ChatGPT can help me create an image and a post for the AI Content Waterfall. So uh, let's do that. I'm going to ask it to create a, f a funny post. Please create a hilarious post about the AI content waterfall. And then that's not enough. I want to tell ChatGPT more information. Uh, create 23 pieces of content and post to 12 different social networks within yeah so that's enough information i think and i i said create a hilarious post but what kind of post i'm actually going to say create a hilarious image and if you didn't know i'm using chat gpt4 pro uh, or teams has this but dali is built in so it can design you but Let's see how this output looks. So I got a descriptor here, hilarious. I need a hilarious image, not just an image. And I can go further than that. Um, if it was, if it needs to be a certain size, then I can say 16 by nine ratio. Um, I can also upload an image here and try to make it look like that. So we'll do that. Uh, we have, I have a content waterfall image that again this was this is uh organic intelligence uh Munish created this for me and he's a human um but if i send this to chat gpt whatever this output that it's going to give me right now is going to be i i think it'll nail hilarious it does pretty good with hilarious um it usually makes pretty funny posts it makes funny jokes too if you've ever read them let's see um, here's a humorous post. So I am friendly robot character is comically managing a literal waterfall of digital content overflowing with various types of content like articles, videos, memes, and social media posts. Each piece is labeled with icons of different social networks. Cool. All right, let's see. Oh, nice. 
See, I mean, that's pretty funny. Like, I I guess we'll see how funny it is. I'm gonna post it. So so you get you're getting real feedback. Um but I do so I, I have this image and this is good enough for Postly. Uh Postly will resize it. So I have to download this. All right. And then if I wanted to make this more on brand, so you can see that it is taking a while to upload. Uh, so I'm going to stop it. But uh, again, back to using your intelligence. If you have an image that has certain colors in it and a certain style and you upload it here, you can use it as a reference point for ChatGPT. So if I would have uploaded that and submitted it and said, please use, please use the hex codes and styling from this image. The hex code is the color codes, um, and ChatGPT can pick those out of the image uh, and create something that is somewhat in alignment with whatever you created. Um, it's still not awesome at text. See, these this is just gibberish on this on these walls back here, and there's no real words on here at all. There's a lot of text, so you can kind of tell what it is, but um, some things. ChatGPT can't do yet. So if you asked it, if for example, if you wanted to massage this prompt and say, make all the letters read as words, it's not going to do it properly. Um, but if you wanted to change this, like, let's say, um, let's, let's say, okay. Okay. So, so, um, Let's put a really cute puppy on top of the waterfall and on top of the robot's head. All right, I, like people like puppies, right? I'm going to try to make it so this gets some attention, even though you, you'll be able to tell it's an AI generated image. And you know what? People can tell. People can tell. I can tell. People can tell. I do post AI content. I think most people can tell, but it still gets attention and it still gets likes because I went a long way to configure it to uh, to read properly and use good. <laughs> That's better. All right, we're gonna use that. That's what we're gonna use. I mean, it, it made me laugh out loud. There's no waterfall though, but whatever. Puppies are cute. Um, so like thinking, I'm thinking, what are people going to like? What do people read? What's like clickbaity? Uh, and I just want this to get some attention. So, all right, we got that image. Now let's go back into Postly. Now we're going to post. I'm going to make this quick. Manage post. I'm just going to create a post. And then I'm going to add media. And for now, I'm going to add an image. Or, so you can you can if you have a hosted image somewhere you can paste the um, URL in here, or you just upload it, or you can import it from any of these places. And if you import from Pexels, you can tell it what you want to import. That's pretty cool. So let's get this puppy puppy headed robot in here, and then we got to come up with a post. But again, um, I don't want to use the AI inside of Postly for this. So. I'm going to go ahead now we we would have we had our cast magic um content in here uh so let me let me create a post with my brain for a second and then we'll be right back
I'm back. I'm back in action. Okay, so uh, this is what I came up with just really fast. And so multiple applications of AI and smart AI, if you use it somewhere, you can use it everywhere. So actually, I'll show you one more thing that I started using, and it's basically ChatGPT, um, except it's a, it, it actually has all the features of ChatGPT. You just don't get as many messages. So I recommend checking that out too, slider.ai. I'll put a link in the description as well when this goes live. Um, but and So this is basically me just going back into ChatGPT, and I'm just going to say... Uh, um, make this funnier, funnier, and it comes through that you can distribute, you can create a ton of content with AI and distribute it to many different platforms. Mention the cute puppy as well. All right, let's see how it does with content. So again, this is ChatGPT. This is using GPT-4 because I set it up that way. I'm not gonna show you how to configure slider.ai, but um, it is pretty cool. I'll just show it to you real quick while that's generating. There it is. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, it cleared my text and I was using Claude 2. So there are multiple options in this thing. Claude 2. Let me keep it simple. I'm closing this. I'm going to close this up. I'm going to go back into chat GPT and I'm going to do the same thing. So uh, please create a post to go along with this, this image. Here is a sample piece of content. Make it funnier and mention the puppy, but ensure that the volume and ensure that people know you can create a ton of content with AI that is awesome and post it everywhere at the same time. And then I'll put the sample that I created from Postly in here. My brain, I, I tried to come up with something decent and I'm going to let ChatGPT see if it's better than me at, at writing copy. I'm giving it a shot. I don't know how it'll do, but let's see. No? You can go through it. All right. Oh, there it is. Okay, introducing the cutest over overload at the AI content waterfall, our fluffy new mascot, the content pup. This little furball is not just adorable, but also a pro at surfing the endless stream of awesome AI generated content. With ChatGPT and your favorite posting tools, we're not just breaking the internet, we're giving it a puppy powered makeover. Uh, imagine creating and sharing tons of incredible. All right, well, that's way better than mine. Content pup, AI power, even has awesome hashtags in it. This is the only thing about this slider AI. It's a little annoying. Follows you everywhere. Close it. Aye, aye, aye. Can't even close this thing. There we go. I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna reload this page. Oh, the uh, excuse this screen here. <laughs> um, focus on what we're doing. All right, so introducing, I just read this to you. Now I wanna show you something else cool and then we'll select our platforms. So um, we can see this 
we can see, but then it's going to limit the type of posts that I can do. So it added these, um, it added these, uh, these hashtags. I also want to AI content waterfall break the internet. Sure. That's cool. Uh, I don't need quotes though. So I'm going to take those quotes off. See, I'm thinking I'm, I'm using, I'm still using my brain and here's some more AI. Um, ChatGPT and other AI tools often make uh, grammatical or, or prose mistakes that Grammarly can catch. I'll put a link to Grammarly in here as well. Um, it also has an AI writer. So, uh, all right, we got our media in there. Now I want to pick a hashtag like, let's see, trending is AI writer. Let me see if I can get AI going and get some... I'll just put AI in there. And this is a, a trending hashtag search. So this part of the AI is, is pretty good because it's a live search on the web for trending hashtags. And I can pop this right into my post. All right. Well, AI writer's trending. So I'll use that. It's not really an AI writer. I like these better. Again, using my brain to make decisions here. We already got some emojis in here, like cute puppies and some other fun stuff. Uh, the cutest overload at the AI content. Overlord. Introducing. I think it's spelled that wrong. Overlord. I'm going to call it overlord. The cutest overload. Introducing the cutest overload at the AI content waterfall. Uh, I mean, I should edit this a little. It's a little long. It's not really in my my voice. Um, even though in ChatGPT uh, you can add background information, and I did to try to make make it so the output sound like me. But let me show you how to do this. We're going to select our platforms now. Um, so as you can see, I got everything connected here. And so I got Google My Business here. I got Twitter. I definitely want to go on Twitter, on my, on my Twitter account. Let's go on Reddit. And let's go on YouTube. And let's go on TikTok and let's go on LinkedIn and to my page. You can connect your page and your personal account and let's go on Instagram. A lot of Instagram accounts. We'll post it to all of them. My Facebook accounts. We'll post it to all of them. Um, and you can save different combinations of these as audience groups and then just continue. You just connected all these and all of them are easy as a click. So now it's, sh now it's going to show upload the media and show you, you can preview these on each different network. Um, every time you publish a post, you should preview it first. Um, so, you, and then you have to add a cup, couple pieces of information. So, um, I'm going to put the name of the AI content waterfall in here. I'm just going to put uh, AI Kaplan AI bonus. Okay, it's public. Uh, select a thumbnail. Sure. Select a thumbnail from my computer. And I have I have a I have a um, an image for this again. Um, so I'm going to upload that and then select the category video license, put your description in there. Um, these are, this is not AI generated, but if you have Grammarly in, in here, you can come up with something real easy by clicking that button. Um, so for YouTube, we're going to do, I'm going to put the same description in here. Uh, did it, did it. Actually for the YouTube description, I'm just going to put, um, check out the bonus for posting your content to all socials at the same time. 
I can add a tag if I want. I should add a tag. Uh, it's definitely not for kids. Is it embeddable? Yes. Uh, oh, you know what? This is not a video. This is not a video, so I shouldn't be posting it on on YouTube. Uh, so let me let me change that. And then for Reddit, uh, I'm still gonna put the same name. And Reddit will ban you if you use completely AI generated content. So um, let's see what happens. I, I think it should be okay, but um, you can tell this is AI generated. So, uh, but I'm going to try to post it. Uh, actually, I'm not going to post to, I'm, I'm going to change this and I'm not going to post to Reddit and I'm not going to post to YouTube because I don't have a video um, and because this is completely AI generated um, I don't want to post it to Reddit because I've had an account banned from there by doing that please don't get your account banned um, and let's let's go do, 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 do. I'm gonna take Reddit off of there and then TikTok. Again, this is a post. So, speaking of using your brain, do that before we, uh, before I selected the networks. So, made a mistake. Who cares? I will ref. I will go back to create a post. Make sure I have this copied, and I got my image downloaded already. So, I'm just going coming back in here to create a post. I'm gonna refresh this. I'm gonna reload it and leave my changes unsaved um, if you create a draft and you select the, the networks as you just saw you can't unselect them so I'm glad I made a mistake on this it makes it a little longer and shows you what not to do and uh, but now we'll do it right so I'll add media and be conscientious when you're adding media if it's a image or a video and where that's going to be posted to so it's uh, it's this image, and we're gonna select platforms, and we're gonna go anything that's text and image based. So we got Twitter. I can do Google My Business. Post right to my business. Oh, uh, this isn't connected right now. Um, I don't want to do Reddit right now because I don't want to get banned. I will put it on LinkedIn because it's funny. Um, and Instagram, everywhere. And Facebook, everywhere. All right. And then I'm going to save this audience group as images only. All right, there we go. So now you got a you got a you got an audience group that you can reuse constantly, and you've got a post that we can schedule or post immediately that we are going to do right now. All right, so we got our audience group. Now we're going to continue. And remember, if you mess that up, you can't undo it. You can add more platforms, but you can't remove them. Um, all right, so the media is there, and let's see if this works again. Mm -hmm. AI content. Let's see if we got any more hashtags. Let's see if we got any more hashtags. This usually comes up with a couple hashtags, so try on your side, but it didn't come up with anything. So we can publish now or schedule the post. Um, I can publish the image. If you want to add your first comment, you can do that. And if you want to, uh, and we should preview everything, should preview everything. Uh, so here's a Twitter preview. That looks good. And it, it turned it into a thread. So that's, that's cool. Um, 
Instagram is loading. All the other ones are loading. So I can I can edit this. I can I can add an image. I can edit this just on on Twitter. Uh, and here's the LinkedIn post. It's still uploading to these. That looks pretty good. I could break this text up a little bit, but for the sake of keeping this short and sweet at this point, uh, let's let's leave it like that. That looks fine. That looks good. I don't mind. I don't mind posting this on LinkedIn. Um, it's a little. I don't usually do funny stuff on LinkedIn, but it's fine. Uh, reposition images. No, we don't need to. It looks good. And then Instagram. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So don't forget that we have um, videos too from the content waterfall if you watch them. And so we can add other social networks here. And then when we preview it, we can add a video. And I, I didn't want to overcomplicate this, but you can add a video to certain ones and you can have the, 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 the image on, on others. Um, but I didn't want to overcomplicate it. Um, and the best way to learn is to mess stuff up. So I just did that. We can publish it now. Um, I don't want to do the first comment. Let's just see what happens. And uploading photo for drafts. So it's not, it's not done yet. We can continue editing this and we can also add this to a campaign. If you add this to a campaign, um, then you can do other things with it, which are outside the scope of this video. Again, just connecting and drafting and, and posting, but you may see that Manish on my team has posted something for me previously. Uh, actually, this is the link on LinkedIn right now. So you may have found this from that and then when this finishes uploading, we'll just post it. Um, once we publish it, if there's no errors with your connections, um, it just publishes it everywhere. So I'm going to show you and then we'll go over to LinkedIn since I logged in there and we'll see what it looks like. All right, it's ready. Uh, oh, no, it's not ready. Yeah. Let's see. It says publishing. All right. So as I said, I'm not, I'm in no way promoting Postly. Uh, there's so many tools that can do this. And actually, I like another one, but I got Postly on an AppSumo deal. Um, so I'm sticking with it. But there's one called Social Pilot, which is a monthly. Um, and if I was going to try something else and try to weave more, um, more AI and more planning and more uh, posts and maybe some scheduling um i would want to use something like that but all of that is also possible here so we can we can we can plan content we can bulk upload content um as you saw i can add my team to this so other people can post on my behalf as long as my accounts are uh, connected here uh, anyone can post for me so you can pass this on to your team we can do link shortening we got analytics and a social inbox so this this tool can replace a bunch of tools if you have other tools for um for like your unified inbox i haven't tried this but i'm interested in it and then again this ai like i don't recommend using this thing um i mean i could try to show you what it does but this is publishing and it's taken a long time to upload but once it's uploading photo for instagram then it's going to upload the photo for for linkedin all the networks and we're done. That's it. So, all right. If you watched the first version of the AI content waterfall and the second version, now you're watching the bonus. If you watched the first version, you would have known that I said I was going to automate everything. Unfortunately, I don't think it's possible yet, but we're getting there. Um, so this series of the AI content waterfall, as I figure out how to automate certain parts of it, I will show you. But this series is also going to go into automation. So 
we'll continue this series and go into uh, make.com, which is formerly Integramat. And inside of Make, it's uh, very similar to Zapier, if you've ever used Zapier. And you can connect different networks, just like we just did here. You connect your account, um, and then you build scenarios that talk to each other. So I can build a scenario where, um, where I have five different topics, and then it passes those five different topics to ChatGPT and says, write a unique LinkedIn post around this, these five, one of these five topics and ensure that only the post is, only the post is created, no pretext or context. And so you see how we have to do a little thinking there to automate this. But if you look at Steve Kaplan AI on LinkedIn, you'll find some of my AI created posts. I don't I don't use everything to create my posts and and a lot of them are thoughtful and thought provoking and uh, and I hope educational and um, and I share a lot more than than AI stuff. So um, but it is fun to automate things and then tweak them and see if I can make it so good that you can't tell the difference. And those are the that's the kind of thing that I'm trying to do with AI is just like when we um, if, if, if AI is going to make me smarter, um, then it has to, it has to do the things that I can do and think the way that I can think. And a lot of times the only way to make your AI do that is to feed it the right information and then train it a little bit. So, uh, let me show you my screen again. Here we go. The post is live published today. All right, here we go. There's my, there's a puppy. So cute. <laughs> All right. It's published everywhere. Um, and I think you can click on it and see the post. Uh, well, it didn't work on Twitter, it looks like. But uh, let's see if we can see it on LinkedIn. Oops. It's slash company slash click then convert here we go let's see what it looks like so here's my feed there it is we're going live it up that's the one that Manish posted and I don't see mine here it's probably still uploading let's see if there's an error, uh, Postly is not very good at telling you about the error. So I think probably some of these other ones might be able to tell you. But uh, also, these aren't linked to the post itself, which is kind of lame. But I'm not going to delete this. I am going to go onto Instagram. And so you don't have to watch me log in. Let's see if we find it over there. Uh, also, post so Postly is very affordable, but it's also t a little buggy. So, when, as you see, like I didn't, it didn't make the post didn't make it to LinkedIn. Um, I'm checking if it made it to Instagram. We'll see in a second. Again, thank you for watching. If you've been watching, if you're watching the whole thing, you're awesome. Uh, you know, there's been some some silences in here and I have 49 videos on my YouTube right now. And uh, all the pros say that you got to get to 100 before you do something that's worth watching pretty much. So uh, if you're enjoying this, um, like it, please give me some feedback or uh, you, can, you can you can give me, you can give me any kind of feedback you want. I, I would love some comments. Um, so let me know your thoughts on this. And if it works, that, that would probably help with the feedback that I get. So, so let's see if it posted. Let's see if it posted to Instagram. Do, 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 do. I'm going to switch back over here right, right away. All right. It worked on Instagram. Your screen. There it is. 
this is what it looks like on Instagram. I'm not going to like my own post, <laughs> but I, I could add a comment if I wanted or bookmark it. Um, Foreplay is a competitive intelligence tool that I use, so ignore that. Um, and then you can save ads to it. Really cool uh, if you're into marketing um, and marketing research or marketing intelligence, Foreplay is a really awesome tool. Um, so here's the post and it posted to multiple uh, profiles here on Instagram. So I'll just switch to one of my other profiles. So there's my main one. Let's see if it made it onto my main Steve Kaplan AI. It took me back here to DTC PPC. I don't know why I did that. All right. Well, um, it posted, I believe it posted to my main account, but again, I don't want to have to log in. So for now, oh, there we go. There it is. All right. So this is from DTC PPC and then I can switch. Oh, sorry. That's not it. I can switch to my account. This is, we're still in DTC PPC. So, uh, I think I have to switch that, but we made it on a DTC PPC and I'm sure it made it onto my other profiles. And if you want to check, you're welcome to Steve Kaplan AI. You can Google me and I show up everywhere. Uh, back to the Postly dashboard. We have, we have posted this, we think. Um, let's see if it posted to my actual LinkedIn too, actually. See if it posted to my personal account because it didn't post to the company account. me so let's go to my my page there we go featured we're going live but i don't have my I don't see my posts here. Uh, where's my posts? Posts. Yes, yeah, so LinkedIn bugged out. Not the best demonstration here, but I hope you get the gist. It's super easy to post all this content, and this is the easiest part of the content waterfall is to post the content. Um, I can come in here and play around with this and since it only it looks like it only posted the one it looks like it only posted the DTC PPC it, it, just Instagram I think it posted to all my Instagram profiles but I'm not logged in and I don't want to drag this out anymore so uh, we can check we can check Twitter too I'll just go directly to my profile What? I think I changed my, my username here too, I guess. This account doesn't exist. Oh, I'm hi Steve Kaplan. That's why. All right. Not the Steve Kaplan, not Steve Kaplan AI. I'm hi Steve Kaplan on Twitter. And it's not here either. So I think um, I had I had navigated away from from Postly as it was posting this. Um, it does show the errors at the top, but as you can see, if I come back into platforms, there's no there's a little green thing next to it. But um, I guess my LinkedIn connection expired. So the the really crazy thing is that <laughs> it doesn't 
alert you if anything's been disconnected. So you may want to check your connections and then manually reconnect. That's what happened. It's not connected right now. So I'm traveling. I'm between countries and this is uh, a and, and so all my accounts got logged out. Um, but you get the point. And Postly works better than it did. Uh, Postly works better than it does for this demo. And I strong, I, I highly recommend you try it out. At least I think they have a free trial, so um, it doesn't hurt to try it. And come in here, connect your accounts. And if you're staying in one country, then you shouldn't have a problem getting this live, especially if you just connect them and and do your first post. Um, so. That's the bonus module of the AI content waterfall. I really appreciate you joining me live. Uh, have a wonderful day, night, evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Steve Kaplan AI. You can Google me and subscribe everywhere. Uh, you can buy my book on Amazon, which is about AI and marketing sales and service. And you can subscribe to my newsletter at the DTC.ai, which I'll also leave a subs I'll also leave a link to. And again, thank you so much for watching um, and I'll see you on the next stream.